Hello there. In this video, we're going to use its stable diffusion to create AI generated talking head. So we'll take up one photo, add our voice and make it generate video. For this, we're going to use it set talker to get it. You need to go to inside the extensions, click on available, click load from. And right here, you can just type set talker and my does not showing because it's already installed for you. If you're not yet installed, it should pop up says extensions, set talker, just click install it. After this, you will actually need to restart your server. And after reinstalling, you should have a tab appear called set talker. This is just the beginning. We need also add additional options and modules to be sure it's working. All the links for these resources will be provided down in the descriptions. You can go to GitHub Set Talker and download it directly from here. Notice it does have it installations for the Linux, Mac, and Windows platform. I'm currently running on a Windows platform. For Windows platform, what is important for us, it is going to the place where we can download it models, and you can download from Google, GitHub, whatever you prefer after you download it. And for example, we gone to the um, GitHub, you will have uh, these files. One most important is talking 256 and 512, both of them for different size. And you can specify later what size you want to do on this. It is a final video output size. You need to place them inside your stable diffusion. And I'm running on Automatic 1111, but it should be also work on other extension as well. So you're going to stable diffusion extensions inside the extension set talker. You won't have this folder checkpoint. So you need to create the subfolder called checkpoints and copy these files inside that folder. After when you're done with this, we're ready. You can go to set talker tab. It should be up here on yours. If it does not appear, you be sure you restart your server and make all uh, necessary libraries updated. As well, I do recommend if you have a lot of different extensions, disable and only use those extensions that currently apply to your project. Otherwise, the conflict may occur and errors will come up. Next, you want to upload your source image inside the source and your audio file. So here's mine. Hey, hello there. This is my voice. And this is a test. See how well it can perform for the talking heads. Hey. Okay. And as well, just single image. It can be AI generated or any photo. This is photo from my um, photo shoot I done before. Right here, we have it post styles. We just leave it as zero. Notice built on the side, we have it model resolution. I'm going to use a 256. You can use the 512 for this unit install. Preprocess, it's applied to the image itself. If you want to crop resize full or whatever size you prefer. Also, this is have it still mode. It's meaning your head won't move it, just the lips. I will disable this because I want to create this. We also you have it batch size generations. We'll just leave it as two. And if you need it enhance a GVH pen, make bigger, remove some of the you can apply it again. We'll just leave it all as default for now and go ahead and click generate. And as generated, I recommend you to go check your server. You may have it some errors come up. Monitor them, like for example, we was on checkpoints and it was fix it. And right here, when it's generating, you can see it start processing should go fast and okay. And after generation complete, right here we have it, our file. Let's look on this. Hey, hello there. This is my voice. And this is a test to see how well it can perform for the talking heads. Notice the movement of the head. It's actually randomized in some cases. If we're going to generate one more time, you'll notice it will create a little bit different uh, positions on the head. So let's just generate one more time. Okay, there's another generation. So let's preview. Hey, hello there. This is my voice. And this is a test to see how well it can perform for the talking heads. 
and you can see the head was moving sideways sometimes motions can be bigger sometimes change you also can change the result by applying with batch sizes and just a test let's go try a little bit higher resolutions and we're going batch four we don't enable steel mode i want to kind of apply steel and we also enable gf um painting for the face so let's generate this one and right here we have our image generator you can see quality it's definitely much better from previous let's go preview hey hello there this is my voice and this is a test see how well it can perform for the talking heads obviously motion sometimes have it some distortion on eyes we can reduce a little bit processing but in general it's much cleaner image because we have a bigger size and as well we apply the face enhancer i know how much this will affect but generally here is a fun way to create your talking heads and explore more of ai generation thank you for watching and have a great day